at the end of section 2 of chapter 1 we have another exercise set and here they're asking us to do some fill-ins and what I will do is pause the tape and let you read these and see if you can come up with some words to put in there. Again, you don't have to write out the whole thing. Uh, there is going to be 10. So we're going to write 10 words or short statements and uh, we'll pause it. So hopefully we were able to get these. Uh, we ran out of a little room down here but we did this one in class that if you have the area and you divide it by the width you end up with the length and we did this example as well of factoring this is called b sub 1 plus b sub 2 refers to the two bases that we find in a trapezoid so you recall a trapezoid looks like this, where there are two sides parallel. So this would be, let's say, B sub 2, and this would be B sub 1. Or you could switch them around. And then you have here the height. And again, these are formulas. So what we're going to do now is take a look at some of the other equations that are here just to give you some strategy in doing them. So as we look at these, what would be the strategies for doing them? Well, in this first case, and these are just sister problems. These are the odds. These are the ones the answers are in the back of the book. And here we would just add the, the additive inverse of this. If it's a negative, we add its positive value to both sides. And that would give you the answer. Here we're just going to divide both sides by 8. So we get rid of the 8's in a sense through canceling out. Anything divided by itself is 1. So that will leave us with just the T. And we get the answer there. Now for 21, let's clear it up a little bit here we're going to use the reciprocal which would be three halves both sides now here we're going to add 12 or just transpose it adding 12 to both sides then divide both sides by 4 Here we're going to subtract 2 from both sides and then we can use the reciprocal. Here we're going to combine like terms and divide by 9. Here remember there's a 1 in front that we have to add and then divide both sides by 1.06. See, they don't give me any room to work these out here. We're looking for strategy. Okay, so there's plenty of examples and you'll be getting some examples in your work as well as you do your practice 
and your Quisbys. Now, in your textbook, you may notice that as you go from the lower example numbers up to the higher numbers, the examples get more and more difficult. So, let's, if we have time, take a look at some of these. And I'll write it out here because there is some room here. So we have R minus M equals M N P. And we want to solve for the letter M. Now, in order to solve for the letter M, we have to have all the M's over on one side. So, since this one is negative here, I'm going to transpose that M over here, and it now becomes a positive M. So, let's just take that off. That's the marvel of having this technique. We can see it as if it were a motion picture. Now, we have M in two terms. What did we say we need to do to get the M out of two terms? Well, we had to factor it. So, this is, we left here with an N, P. Now, when we factor the M out of here, there's just going to be a 1 left there. Because there's a 1 in front of every term. And that equals R. So, once we do that, then it's sort of easy. Because now, we want to get M by itself. So, we divide by this. N, P, plus 1. And we could put it in parentheses or not. So these just cancel out now. And M equals that. Okay. Now notice 90 is pretty much the same. So we won't do that one. Let's do 91, which is Y plus AC squared equals a b and we want to solve for a. Now once again a is in two terms. So we're going to take this term move it to the other side where it becomes a negative a c squared. And we can just do it. That's called transposition. Now that we have A in two terms, how do we get the A out of these two terms? Well, we factor it. So we're then left with B minus C squared. And you might say, oh, I know how to do that now. We're just going to divide both sides by what's in the parentheses. Here, these just cancel out then. And there's our answer. A equals that. Now, over here, they want us to solve for the letter Y. So, we have 2X minus Y equals 1. Again, we want our y to be positive. So, we know we can just move it to the other side and it becomes positive. And we want to keep it by itself so that one that's there we're going to bring to the other side. Just change its sign. And there is the solution. y equals 2x minus 1. 
in a sense all we did is change these two around but when we do that we must change their signs okay well we'll keep this short too and uh, hopefully it's helpful